Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Now this unboxing is going to be of this TP-Link 24 port switch. Now one of the things why um, I'm technically using this switch is because my old 24 port switch failed on me. So yeah, that was uh, fun. So um, <laughs> luckily I got this replacement, so it's already here. Um, let me go right ahead and unbox it and let me go right ahead and uh, walk you through the installation process. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is technically a shot of the box. Um, I forgot to let you know. So this is the TP-Link 24 port gig easy smart switch uh, model number TL-SJ1024DE. So this is actually somewhat of a, I guess, very basic managed switch. So there's a couple of things you can do. Of course um, so you could do traffic prioritization and you could go right ahead and set up VLANs and of course this is a uh, green technology and this is an intelligent manage so all right so that is the front of the box uh, I'm just gonna go right ahead and show you the back of the box right here what do we got in here first thing we get greeted of course installation guide and of course, uh, most likely some sort of software. So that's what we get. Uh, let's see, what do we got over here in this compartment? So we got, oh, a couple of things. Okay, so we got three things. So of course, we do have power cable. This is really nice that this actually includes the, the bracket or the, the rack mount brackets. Because the other one uh, that I had, it was a tread net. I had to buy these separately. So luckily, um, TP-Link technically provides these for you on this model. And we have the hardware, which would be the screws for the rack mount. And I'm presuming it's rubber feet. So just in case if you're going to be putting it on top of a desk or something like that, it, you could go right ahead and basically install those. And of course, we have the switch itself. Alrighty, so there it is. So we have the view. So we have the view of the switch. Uh, technically, uh, we do have, of course, you know, status lights, all that good stuff. We have a reset button, and of course, 24 ports. And here we have a shot of the back. So you do have a place to go right ahead and ground it. And of course, there's no fan, so it's a fanless switch. Now, if you go to the back right here. So you can actually see what the username and password is. So there it is right there. Okay, now that we have this unboxed, let's go ahead and install it. So I got the switch installed. Of course, right now it's just booting up, doing its thing. So let me go right ahead and wire all of this and then let's go right ahead and check it out and see if everything's working. Now I'm actually signed into this uh, switch. Now I'm actually just doing it manually, I'm just gonna you know, I just went and basically searched to see what IP address it got from the router. And then basically I signed in and, you know, started uh, making a couple of just adjustments uh, just to the IP address and all this other stuff. But uh, yeah, so this is technically the interface that we have. We do have system. Uh, it's going to show some information regarding that uh, system information, uh, IP settings. I'm just going to go ahead and just leave, leave that blank. I mean, technically you could see the IP address up here, but... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, so you do have the LED on and off. So you're able to go ahead and toggle that on or off. You have user accounts. So right now, of course, um, I do have an account. So if you need a, if you want to add multiple accounts, you can go ahead and create them here. We have system tools. So we have a backup and restore, system reboot, system reset. And of course, if you're going to be uh, updating the firmware, you could go ahead and do that here. Now we also have switching. Now all of this, all of these settings uh, are just by default. I'm, I haven't really done anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what is available. So under switching, we do have port setting, IGMP snooping, lag, and we do have monitoring. So we could go ahead and do a monitor. As you can see right here, there's a couple of devices that are currently on and are communicating to the network. So you could go ahead and see exactly all the packets here, what's enabled, what, what's the speed. So this one's technically only 100, uh, 100 base T, so 
it's not gig. And then of course you could see more information here regarding your setup. We do have port mirroring. So we do have the option to do that here. We have cable test. Uh, so you can go right ahead and test out the cable. Uh, you'll go right ahead and get the results here as well as the cable fault distance right here. Now I did, I did do a test on this and I actually selected all and did apply and it took a while. So don't be expecting to get immediate results when you're doing this. If you're going to be doing, you know, multiple ports at once. We do have loop prevention. So that is, uh, as of right now, it's enabled by default. Then we have the VLAN set settings. So you can go right ahead and have uh, MTU VLAN, core based VLAN. You could go right ahead and basically start setting up VLAN IDs and, you know, start setting all of this good stuff up. 802.1Q VLAN. So you're able to see all of that. 802.1Q PVID setting. So we do have QoS basics. So you see it right there. Bandwidth control. So you could go right ahead and control the bandwidth right here. And we do have storm control in this setting right here. So I'm not really going into depth regarding this because technically I've really never messed around with uh, technically all these settings. So I'm, I'm going to be learning something new on this. Alrighty, everybody. Well, that is the end of this video. Uh, thank you for mu very much for watching. Uh, I know it was just basically an unboxing and then now it's uh, an installation. But uh, yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed it. And like always, we will catch you on the next one.